Why is Brandon for female entrepreneurs look different? Brandon for female entrepreneurs is not just your colors, your logo. It's not just a tagline. Women, it's actually you. It really is. My name is Heidi Muma. I'm one of the co-founders here inside Truth Bomb Academy, where we are helping busy women create more time, more money with a simple business playbook that they that is helping them to create the millions. And millions in dollars, millions in ideas, millions in the impact of people around them without sacrificing what is most important to them. Today we're talking about brand. What is a brand? Your brand is your voice. How do you want it to sound? Are, is it, are you playful? Are you serious? Are you super business? Like, are you helpful? Are you hopeful? This is all comes out in your brand. And your product, your service is actually the souvenir that your client, your customer, takes away with them. What is it? Is it something that that they're using? Is it an emotional impact that, that, that they take away with them? But your brand is actually, it's your story. And it's the story of you, your business, and all of this takes time. It is not something that you are going to instantly, okay, I'm going to create this business, I'm creating this product, I'm providing this service, and this is my brand. Your brand is going to develop over time. Just like your kids, um, it took time to grow up. So I'm, I'm a mom and I'm a home and I homeschooled my kids. And so I relate a lot of things back to raising my kids and homeschooling them. Creating the brand for your business is also like raising your kids. It's going to develop. It's going to change over time. It's not going to necessarily change drastically because it is who you are. So who you represent and how you represent yourself is going to come across in your brand. And just like your kids, your clients are freaking smart. I'm going to read this quote real real quick because I thought it was pretty poignant about this. Someday your kids are going to figure you out. I promise you they will. The type of parent you are, the type of spouse you are, how you treat other people, how much effort you put into them. You're either going to be someone they look up to or someone they, they don't ever want to be like. Always remember they are watching and absorbing your clients are the same way your client how your clients experience your brand is going to be how they know you and so your brand is really personifying who you are and who you want to be in the world and who you want your business to be in the world how your brand looks feels and your the expressions the emotional expressions that your clients get from you is going to be how they they um remember you in the future and how your reputation is going to grow. So and it's also going to be how long how long your clients are going to stay with you, right? How like your authenticity, your ethics and your emotional connection are all part of your brand. It's a big part of the story that they hear from you. Your story matters. Your imperfect story matters. You know how raising your kids, you love to tell them about the old family stories, you know, things about when you were growing up, things about even possibly when your parents were growing up. We love to tell our family stories. Well, it's the same thing with your business. Your story, your life story, your business's story is going to matter and it's not going to be perfect. Things that we do how we act, how we how we conduct, how your customer service, how they interact with your customer service, all of this is part of the story of your company. And you're, it's not going to be perfect. Guess what, women? We make mistakes, right? We make mistakes. We try We try things. It, we hope they work out. A lot of times they do work out. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes we have to, when we're raising our kids, we have to apologize, right? Sometimes we make rash decisions or bad judgments and we have to go back and apologize to our kids. Sometimes building your business, building your brand, sometimes we make mistakes. We don't get it right right the first time. We don't get our message in as clear as we want it to be. We don't we don't connect with our audience the way we want to connect. So we go back, we we and that's why this business playbook that we're creating that we're helping women to create is so crucial because you have it written down. You have what is it that I really want to be getting across? And is this still what I want to get across? And so we go back and it's like is my message is my is my marketing lining up with what I want my what what I originally created or 
or has it changed? And it's like and knowing these things, knowing like well, as you are developing your brand, because your brand is going to be continuing to develop. You may, people may think of you this way at one point in time, but we don't all exactly stay the same, right? We grow. And it's like, it's because we want to grow and your brand is going to grow with you. And so accepting those mistakes, it's like, yes, acknowledge them. I made a mistake. I'm going to grow from there and I'm going to move on. Perfection is a myth. It's perfection in a myth in, in parenting and it's perfection in building a business is a myth. Let it go. I know that's hard for some people than others, but it is something you're going to have to let go. And that, that actually shows authenticity and it shows that you are, that you, that you can you know, be honest with your clients and customers. It's like, we don't always get it right. We're going to screw up, but we'll make it right. Here comes the fun part, your logo and your colors. We all think it's like your brand is your logo and your colors. No, actually that may be a, a most visible representation of your brand. You know, we think of Coke, we think of their brand. You think of Nike, you think of the swish. Those things become very um, noticeable, like an outward symbol. But that's what it is, it's an outward symbol. And, but your brand is actually how you make people feel about you. It's how they experience you and your, and your company. It is fun creating that logo and, the, and, those, and, um, and coming up with the colors that you want, right? It is, it's kind of like when people walk into your house or they see your house, you know, the first thing they're going to notice is the color, the style, the, your decorations. How does your home make them feel? Does it make them feel welcome? Does it make them feel uncomfortable? Does it make them feel like they have to um, be be um, extremely polite in your home? So your logo and your, and your colors, they have an impact on your business because colors impact us. Here inside Truth Bomb, when we are um, working with women creating their business playbook, we actually take time to color. It's so fun. We, we actually take color and sheets out and we color and we look at it. It's like, you know, what colors do you automatically choose? Where do you start on the paper? All of these things kind of like you can look at them and it's just, it's a little telling about, about different things. And it's like the colors all have a meaning behind them. There's reasons why companies choose certain colors. And so a lot of that is fun to dive into. And it's like, and we go deeper into that as we are walking, as we are working with women um, to be able to develop their brand and their business and those things. So, but there are six P's that, I, that we go through. I'm gonna go through them real quick. It's like, you know, it's like, what is your purpose? Why does this matter? That's P number one, your positioning. You, what uniqueness are you offering to the marketplace? Your principles, what are your non-negotiables? Your promise. How do your customers experience you? Your personality, serious, fun, silly, helpful? I don't know, how do you want people to experience you? Then the persona, what life experiences does your target audience have? So all of these things are things that you need to consider as you are developing your brand. So all of those things are things that we are helping women to consider, to really, get clear and cl get clear about those answers and develop in that clarity around building their business and, and building their brand. So women, as they are going through this premier business academy, we are helping them to really gain that clarity. Gaining that clarity helps you to create more time and, 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 and it has a direct reflection on the income that you're able to create. So women are going through Unlocking My Millions, their business playbook. Here inside Truth Bomb Academy, come join us. Come see how this business playbook is going to make a difference in your business. This is not your traditional business playbook. This is developed specifically for women and their needs in mind. And let me tell you, you have two options. You have, you can do it yourself or you can, you can done with you options. So we have two options. If you, if you are a DIY type of person, go for it, do it. I tend to be a DIY person, not gonna lie. I often like to look at Pinterest and be like, oh, I can do that. Sometimes it turns out like it and sometimes not so much. So, but if, if you want to DIY, go for it. Do it yourself. We have that option. If you want to do it with us to make sure to um, really gain that clarity, the thing that you want to create and you want to have feedback on it and to make sure that your message is getting across like you want it to get across. We love to give feedback here inside the community. And so come do it with us. We will help you guide you as you are going through this. Answer all the questions that, that come up as you are going through this. So click on the link down in the description and we'll see you in the academy.